the beginning of a seascape is always easy. Ruler, pencil, and there we... oops. I will paint the blue of the sky in its entirety first, and only when it's dry will I paint the clouds on top of it. I added some more indigo blue to the mix I used for the sky to darken the color of the sea. Ok, this simple underpainting will be the starting point for the next layers. First I will outline the edges of the clouds with a thin brush. The color is mainly titanium white to which I added Naples yellow and violet grey. Next I'm going to fill in the entire surface of the cloud with the Naples yellow mixture. A bit too yellow really. Add more titanium white. I'm going to cover the horizon with masking tape to make painting the lower part of the cloud easier. Remember, you can only do this because there already is an undercoat of paint on the paper. If you stick tape directly on the paper, you can't get it off without damaging it. Because we are dealing with a backlight situation where you look into the light source, only the edges of the cloud are illuminated. I'm now painting the first layer of the sparkles. In other words, this isn't the lightest color yet. Myopia is rather inconvenient, but when painting this kind of detail, it's a blessing. The sparkles in the distance look like dots, but more towards the foreground, you can see there are actually tiny waves reflecting the sunlight. Ah, oh, it's a miracle this guy gets anything done. I want to darken the water in the foreground, so I'm applying a glaze of indigo blue with a little bit of Old Holland Indian Lake Orange Extra. With my paint rag I conjure up the sparkles again. I apologize for the fan brush following the rag like a curious cat. I still had it in my other hand. One last coat of opaque white over the edges of the cloud. This time with a bit of vermilion red. In my experience, there is no other combination that lights up more than this one. That's why I only use it in the final stages of a painting. I've demonstrated this technique before, but it's so much fun I'm just going to do it again. With a brush that carries not too much paint, I brush over the relief leaving the paint behind on the protruding parts. Ok, this will do for a sketch. <laughs> 